and your children fatherless. If you lend money to any of my people with you who is poor, you shall not be to him as a creditor, and you shall not exact interest from him. If you ever take your neighbor's garment in pledge, you shall restore it to him before the sun goes down, for that is his only covering. It is his mantle for his body, in what hours shall he sleep? And if he cries to me, I will hear, for I am compassionate. The word of the Lord. near his hero, 
St. Francis. Carlo was a normal youngster, but was also a remarkable young man in many ways. He loved Jesus, Mother Mary, the church, and everyone, especially the poor, with all his heart. After he made his first Holy Communion at the age of seven, he went to Mass every day, spent time in adoration of the Blessed Sacrament, and prayed the Rosary. Carlo loved to ride his bike, play soccer and video games, hang out with friends, as well as doing many of the same things a lot of us enjoy. At school, he stood up for kids who were picked on, mocked and bullied, especially the disabled. He was also a genius with computers and is already being called a patron saint of computer programs. And he helped to create a website giving information about Eucharistic miracles throughout the world. Young Carlo especially loved Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament and called the Eucharist the highway to heaven. Sadly, he developed a deadly blood disease called leukemia and died at the age of 15. He offered his illness and sufferings to God for the Pope and for the Church. A lot of poor people came to his funeral because his mother secretly took him around to give sleeping bags and food to the homeless as he was too young to drive. There is no doubt that he took Jesus' commandment to love God and neighbor very seriously and is a wonderful example for us all, especially children, teenagers, and young adults. We all know that Christianity is a religion of love. This is not complicated to understand, but it is difficult to put into practice, and we often fall short. Jesus took the hundreds of commandments in the Jewish law and boiled them down to only two, which are the most important. As we just heard in our Gospel reading from Matthew, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. And you shall love your neighbor as yourself. In another place, the Bible tells us that God is love and that those who live in love live in God and he lives in them. It also says that if we love Jesus, we will keep his commandments and love each other, particularly the poor those in need, outcasts, and even our enemies. Love is the one thing that cannot hurt our neighbor. And when we love, we give glory to God who loved us first. We make others happy and we feel good ourselves. That may seem like the end of today's message and good news, but there is more. The last part of Jesus' commandment to love God and our neighbor says that we should love them as we love ourselves. This is where many people have problems, especially if they love themselves too much or if they don't love themselves enough or maybe not even like who they are. Perhaps you know someone who thinks that they are better than everyone else as we say, full of themselves. They may be arrogant and feel superior to others because they are very pretty or handsome, cleverer or richer. But this is not true or healthy because it can lead to the sin of pride. They forget that every good thing that they enjoy is a blessing, a gift or talent that God has generously given to them. On the other hand, perhaps you know someone who doesn't really like who they are, who feels inferior to others, as if they are somehow not good enough. This is not true, and it can be harmful. Perhaps they feel this way because they didn't do well at school or get much education. They don't have a well-paid, exciting job, a lot of money, or live in a big house, not especially good-looking don't have a lot of friends, struggle at school, or are mocked, 
picked on or bullied in the classroom or on the internet. If you know someone who feels like this about themselves, you can remind them that we are all beautiful and lovable children of God, all equally precious to Him, all made in His image and likeness, and all washed clean in the blood of Jesus, all unique works of art and masterpieces. Everybody is somebody in God's eyes. So we can all be proud of who we are and have a healthy self-love. We can like who we are and never feel inferior or less important than anyone else. Remember, God doesn't make junk. Finally, dear friends, children, teenagers and adults too, hold your heads up high. Be happy to be who you are. Be like Blessed Carlo Acutis and the other saints, our heroes. Fill your lives with love for God, love for everyone else and yourself, and you will be keeping Jesus' commandments perfectly and giving God glory right here on earth. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now let us join together in professing our faith as we say the creed together. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who from the Father and the Son is the Lord and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With confidence in our Father's love for us, we bring to Him the needs of our church, our world, our family, and our friends. Let us pray for the church that she will never lose sight of her mission to be a witness of God's love for the earth and all of his creation. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us pray for an end to all wars and fighting, and also an end to all bullying in the classroom, on social media, and the internet. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us pray for the poor, the weak, hungry, lonely, and the sick, that we will do whatever we can to help them. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us pray for all those who are missing school or falling behind in their education at this time, that they will soon catch up and do well. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. With October being the month of the Rosary, let us make our prayers with Mary, the mother of our Lord. Hail Amen. Mary. Amen. Full of grace, and the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Let us pray in the silence of our hearts, bringing our own intentions to the Lord. Father, we praise and thank you for your goodness 
Christmas and blessings to us. Help us to love you more and serve you better every single day. We make all these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Save us. In 
this holy sacrifice, which he gave as a gift to his church, we remember his death and resurrection. Father in heaven, accept us together with your beloved Son. He willingly died for us, but you raised him to life again. Jesus now lives with you in glory, but he is also here on earth among us. One day he will come in glory, and in his kingdom there will be no more suffering, no more tears, no more sadness. Father in heaven, you have called us to receive the body and blood of Christ at this table and to be filled with the joy of the Holy Spirit. Through this sacred meal, give us strength to please you more and more. Lord our God, remember Francis, our Pope, Stephen, our Bishop, Sylvester, his assistant, and all other bishops. Help all who follow Jesus to work for peace and to bring happiness to others. Bring us all at last together with Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and all the saints to live with you and to be one with Christ in heaven. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all oh glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Now let us join together with all the other beloved children of God in every time and place in praying our family prayer as we say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who Trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you, with your family, and with your friends always.
that you are present in the most holy sacraments. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.